All right, what's going on today, guys? My name is JSP, and today we are predicting the Bears' schedule. Now, they start off actually pretty easy. Um, this is only going to be a, this is what I think, this is what I think, the, I'm going to try to be as unbiased as possible. Now, I'm going to look at, at the stat sheets, I'm going to look at all the players, and we're going to see, I'm a uh, before, I'm not even going to tell you. Obviously, you can count it if you want, but it it uh, has everything right here, uh, winning versus losing. So, why not just get right into it? The first game is at home, I believe. Yeah, at home against the Titans on Sunday. I believe it's at 1 p.m. Yeah, 1 p.m. Uh, and... I think the Bears are going to win. The Bears will finally, finally come out swinging. They almost never come out swinging. Um, so I think this is a very winnable game. I think the Bears can definitely get this one done. Uh, will Levis has a lot of hype around him this year. Uh, the Titans themselves also have a lot of hype around them this year too. Um, so we'll see. I mean, they could they could easily be a very good team, but... I think Caleb Williams is going to surprise a lot of people and a lot of uh, defensive coordinators are not going to know what to do with Caleb Williams. So coming out of the gate, I think the Bears take this one. Okay. The Texans are at home against the Bears. Um, I, I don't really have much to say about this. <laughs> I really don't. I think the Texans win this one. I, I really do. I, I think the Texans win. I think C.J. Stroud is the next like top five quarterback that's going to be in this league. Um, I really don't think that – I don't know. I think they have the better coach. They have the better receivers, the better defense. Uh, I think the, the Texans definitely – they take this one. Now, we're playing the whole AFC South apparently right, right off the bat. So, uh, Bears at Indianapolis – we go on the road on another Sunday at 11. And then, yeah, I forgot the Texans one is also uh, Sunday Night Football. Um, but the Bears take on the Colts, Matty Bruflus' old team. Um, the Colts are also a decent team, but I think the Bears top this one. I think they can definitely beat the Colts. Um, the Colts, who have Anthony Richardson, who's coming off of a pretty bad shoulder injury, so I don't know how Anthony Richardson's going to be. Uh, apparently he's not having the greatest camp, and our defense is pretty damn good, so I think they're going to be able to keep Anthony Richardson contained. Uh, now we're coming over to the Rams, Rams at Bears, and we actually have three home games right in a row after that, which is pretty cool. Um, the Rams, they have a decent team. Um, Puka Nakua, Cooper Cup, you know, Matthew Stafford has – not really fallen off like some people thought he would. He's actually a very good quarterback still. He's very, very good. He just won the Super Bowl like three years ago. So um, anyway, uh, I think the Bears can definitely pull this off. I really do. They don't have Aaron Donald anymore. Uh, they are going to be, I think they're going to take a little bit of a dip this year, the, the Rams. So I think the Bears pull this one off. Uh, Panthers, Bears. Maybe Bryce Young uh, revenge game. Who knows? I don't know because uh, all Panthers fans probably hate the Bears right now. So they're, they're all probably going to want the Panthers to win that game. But it's at home. Uh, the Panthers are still not a very good team. They got Jonathan Brooks. They got Leggett or Leggett, however you say it. Um, they, got, they got Adam Thielen, you know. Uh, their defense is not that great. They just got rid of Brian Burns. I think the Bears take this one pretty damn easily. Jaguars, Bears in London. Very cool. It's at 7 in the morning, at least where I live. Um, so I the, the Jaguars always win in London. They always win. I don't know if they've ever lost in London since, since uh, they started doing it. So I'm going to go Jags. I, I know that's probably controversial. Uh, Trevor Lawrence hasn't had the greatest career so far, uh, and I'm hoping Caleb Williams does not follow in his footsteps. So I'm still going to go Jags just because of their track record. You know, they have not lost in London or 
out of the country at least, wherever they've played. Um, I saw a stat that they're like what three or three or four and zero oh outside of the country. So I'm gonna go Jags to keep that record going. Uh, we have our bye week, week seven, which is actually pretty damn early. Um, Bears in Washington. Washington does not impress me at all. I'm sorry. They do not. Jaden Daniels is probably going to still trying to get into the swing of things. Same with Caleb Williams. Uh, I'm going to go with the Bears to get the road win there. And then Bears at Arizona once again on the road. Again, Arizona, not a very good team. Kyler Murray um, didn't play that great last year against the Bears. Um, the only really addition, notable addition that I have uh, is Marvin Harrison Jr. And I don't know if that's enough to get it done against the Bears defense. Um, they still have James Conner and everything, but we're pretty good at stopping the run. Um, I think the Bears take that one. And then Patriots versus Bears. Honestly, this, this three-game stretch – we should go three and zero in this. I'm sorry. So I'm taking the I'm taking the Bears at home against the Patriots. They have Drake May. Um, they have Drake May. I can't even name one other fucking person on the Patriots. Kendrick Bourne, Hunter Henry. Oof. Ezekiel Elliott's not on there anymore. Is Juju still on there? I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even pay attention to the Patriots anymore. Who the fuck does? Um, okay. After coming off of that 3-0 and high since the bye week, we come out swinging after the bye week. Uh, the Packers shut us down. We, we're not beating the Packers. Like I said, I don't care what our team looks like on paper. I'm saying the same shit that I said last year. And, and it, it proved me right. It proved me right. Until we beat the Packers, I will never pick the Bears. Adam Rank gets this wrong every year. Stop picking the fucking Bears to beat the Packers until they can prove it to me. I'm not beating the Packers. I don't care what they look like on paper. I don't care how they ended the season before. Go fuck yourself. Okay? You're all delusional Bears fans if you're picking the fucking Bears here. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry, I went on a little, little rant there. Um, Vikings, same with the teams up here. They got a rookie quarterback. If he's playing at this time, it could still be Sam Darnold. Who the fuck knows? Probably not. Um, they got Aaron Jones, which is the Bears killer. He's the one, honestly, who kills the Bears more than any other player on the Packers besides Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Jones was a huge problem in, in Green Bay, so I don't know if he'll be a huge problem on the Vikings, they still got Justin Jefferson, you know, Jordan Addison, but it really depends on who's throwing the ball. And I think that bears defense can keep him or, uh, whoever it is, if they can keep him contained. So I'm picking the bears here, uh, bears lions in Detroit. All right. Bears did a actual very good job. This is Thursday night football. Wow. Oh no. It's what Thursday. Oh, it's Thanksgiving. I forgot. Thanksgiving. We play the Lions at uh, 1030 in the morning um, in uh, Denver time. Bears, Lions, we did a very good job last year at playing the Lions. I don't know what it was. The Lions were one of the best teams in the league last year, but we played so good against them besides the last like two to four minutes of the game, unfortunately. So honestly, we should have beat them twice last year. Our defense, Jared Goff cannot read or he cannot get anything past our defense. Like I said, unless it's the last two minutes. So I'm going to go Bears here. Like Thanksgiving, Bears? Lions can't win on Thanksgiving. Um, I'm not even going to explain anything there. 49ers win. They were just in the Super Bowl. They haven't lost literally anything besides possibly Brandon Ayuk. Um, that has not happened yet. We play them at 225. There's really not much to say, man. It's the fucking 49ers. The, the Bears lose to them. Uh, I'm going to go, same thing, Bears are going to sweep the Vikings, um, possibly the Vikings could win if they get lucky, you know, um, and then I'm going to have the Lions winning against us um, to split the series, and then we end with the Seahawks, I forgot we play the Seahawks, we uh, end, not end, not end the season, what am I trying to say, the next game <laughs> is the Bears at, uh, or Seahawks at the Bears Stadium, uh, Soldier Field. I, I'm losing it, okay? I gotta end this fucking video. Um, 
Geno Smith, you know, Shane Waldron revenge game. Um, I don't think the Seahawks are going to be that great this year. Uh, they have JSN, Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf, uh, Kenneth Walker. They're all they're a very good team. But but honestly, the last like three years, ever since they haven't had Russell Wilson, they've been mediocre at best. They had that one decent season with Geno Smith, and I think they made it to the playoffs and they got knocked out in the first round. So. They're probably going to be the same fucking team they are every year. They're just middle of the pack, eight wins, nine wins. So um, I'm going to go Bears here. I really am. And then same explanation. There's really no other explanation for this. I'm picking the Packers every time I see the Packers on the schedule uh, against the Bears because they the Bears haven't proved me wrong. So unless you, like if you beat them once this year, then we can start talking. You know, we can start talking. You know, let's, let's those players versus those players. Now, no. If if it's in Lambo, especially if it's in Lambo, I'm picking the fucking Packers. Especially if it's in Lambo, we play like shit. So, in the end, without like actually getting into analytics and all that stuff, the Bears I have going eleven and six. Okay, we go three and three in division, so we pretty much split the division. Um, eight and four in the conference, you know, six and three at home, which is actually pretty, pretty good because last year somehow we did very good against, uh, at home. I mean, against teams at home. I don't know why. And then away, we didn't play that good. We went like one and seven away, which is weird. So this is the schedule. Uh, Titans, Texans, this is the schedule. I think we go 11-6. and six. Now, obviously, one of these could be a throwaway. I think the Bears can definitely win that game. Um, I think the Bears could possibly win against the Texans. Uh, the Bears could win against the Packers. Like I said, they could. They could. I'm not saying they can't. I'm just not going to pick them to because they haven't proved it to me. So uh, they could beat the Lions again. Uh, we could lose to the Seahawks. We could lose to the Lions we could lose to like one of these teams, you know, on somehow we could lose to the to the Rams. So, uh, I'm not saying we're going to go 11 and 6, but we could. I can see that happening, the roadmap in my head. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next one. Go Bears.